What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a little tidbit of news and information for you guys to check out. Looks like Konami dropped a little bit of a bombshell on us, and they did it on a Friday afternoon when nobody was paying attention. You sly little foxes, Konami. Looks like we are getting a new gold series in the TCG. What you guys are looking at is the press release for said gold series. This is going to be gold series maximum gold, which means... Uh, we officially reached the highest evolution of gold in the TCG, guys. This is as far as we can go. So maybe this is going to be the last gold series. Maybe the gold rares in this set. That's going to be what they're going to use as the uh, gold standard. Okay, I'm not going to make any more gold puns in this video. But yeah, it looks very interesting. We're going to read this press release. We're going to talk about some of the cards Konami has revealed for reprinting because they are absolutely amazing so far. And we're also going to be getting alternate artworks in this set. Honestly, it feels like no matter what type of player and what type of reason you have for buying this set it looks like you're just going to come up a winner whether you're a budget player looking to get some of them cheap reprints or maybe you need more copies of said meta defining cards and competitive cards for your teammates and for your team or you just like collecting this is going to be a good set for collectors as well anyways let's go ahead and break down this press release so it says, this holiday season, prepare to experience the unparalleled beauty and style with the new premium gold rares in Maximum Gold. So again, set name is Maximum Gold. Release date is going to be holiday. I believe it is October. Yeah, I believe it's coming around October. So it's not going to be actually, it says right here, October 9th. So basically, we are four months away from getting this set in the TCG. And it also says that we are going to be getting a new gold rarity. Now, let me just pause for a second uh, I'll, I'll finish the press release in a second but i just want to talk about gold rares for a moment here because gold rares i feel like are incredibly divisive in the tcg i think that if you ask certain people they love them certain people like myself were kind of lukewarm and then others will just absolutely flat out hate them and i think the main reason is and i mean i'm a boomer here i can go all the way back to the first ever gold series back during 5ds i remember um you know, when one of the biggest selling points of the Gold Rare series wasn't really about the rarity itself. It was, you know, largely that they were releasing like Crush Card Virus, a YCS prize card that was absolutely broken and, you know, had to be banned and then errated years and years later. Uh, they were giving that card out and kind of like a side set and it was a YCS prize card. That was like the biggest selling point. It had nothing to do with the new rarity of Gold Rares, but Gold Rare is a rarity that Konami has changed multiple times. It feels like with different Gold series the rarity itself and the cards have looked different and that's kind of the reason why you know people's feelings towards gold rares is all over the place if you look at gold series haunted mine which i'm a very big fan of mainly because i make no you know secrets about it i love the go I, I love the ghost rares ghost rares are just awesome in my opinion you know these are cards that i would run in any deck i actually have a ghost gold rare um solemn judgment that i use in pretty much any deck that i do run solemn in so i think the ghost gold rares from haunted mine looked amazing i forget exactly what this rarity is called i don't know if this is like the platinum ghost rare or what but i feel like this might i feel like this is almost certainly a ghost rare maybe it isn't but i just know that this rarity is absolute trash this is probably my most hated rarity that has ever been released in the uh Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game actually there's one that might be a little no this, this is the worst whenever i think of tiger king and i think of this card whatever this silver weird platinum border crap is this is just garbage and i don't know what konami was doing and then we have the ghost or do we have the gold rare noble knights oh my goodness this came out of what round table and this was an another this was another abomination just absolutely hideous in my opinion maybe you guys disagree but it kind of shows you when konami introduces new rarities into the game sometimes we get absolute gems like the ghost gold rare and then sometimes we get crap like this which actually reminds me of the starlight rare to be honest I don't, i'm not a fan of starlight rares but anyways we'll go back to the presser and uh, hopefully you know premium gold rares will end up being good it says premium gold rares are the ultimate evolution of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game Gold Rares. So uh, I, I guess we've meet, we've uh, reached maximum goldness, guys. <laughs> we cannot go further beyond like Goku. This is, this is as far as it gets. We have peaked when it comes to goldness. 
It says golden outlines and borders cleanly accentuate and enhance the art that you the art you love and add texture to the cards. Well, some of us love it, some of us don't, so you know, whatever. It says symbols like stars and attribute icons shine like uh, pools of precious molten metal. Premium gold rares uh, inspire awe in the hearts of any duelist who sees them, and maximum gold gives you the chance of uh, the chance to add 52 of dueling's finest cards to your decks as beautiful premium gold rares all right so we know how big the set is going to be i would just say based on this that the set is going to be approximately 52 cards which i mean that's pretty damn good i don't know if we're going to get any new cards probably not i think they would have talked about any new cards but i mean 52 reprints pretty damn good now it says unseen treasures and this is the exciting part that we definitely want to talk about it says new premium gold technology isn't the only way maximum gold is going to make your cards look amazing six wildly popular monsters are getting brand new variant artwork as um as well as the premium gold rare treatment including droll and lockbird elemental hero stratos oh my goodness <laughs> Woo, GX era, let's go. And Appaloosa, Boa the Goddess. Now, this to me is absolutely insane. It's not the fact, it's not just the fact that we're getting these cards as reprints in this new rarity, which, I mean, they pretty much had me at that. If you were just told me you were going to give us a reprint of Appaloosa, which even after the card is starting to come down in price because of the reprint announcement, you know, is almost a hundred dollar card still. Like even just announcing that reprint is enough to get me excited. But now you're telling me we're going to get an alternate art version of Appaloosa, which is a card that I, I love her artwork, by the way. And FYI, Appaloosa is not the bow and it's not the girl. It's actually the bear. Okay, I'm just memeing at this point. Anyways, yeah, I think that that is absolutely amazing. I love Appaloosa as artwork. Stratos is a super iconic card. I would argue Stratos is like one of the most or one of the like top 10 most iconic cards in Yu-Gi-Oh history. To get an alternate artwork of Stratos and Appaloosa, that's amazing. Also, Droll and Lockbird. I mean, it's not a ghost girl hand trap, but if all of the ghost girls got, you know, different artworks, why not a card like Droll and Lockbird that has seen tons of play? It says, in addition... A wide variety of cards will return as rares. Oh, okay. We've got a nice little, got, got rares coming back. It says, but since this is maximum gold, they'll be appearing um, as rares with gold lettering instead of standard silver. Huh. That's gonna, that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be jarring. So they're, <laughs> they're giving us rares back, but they're technically gonna be gold rares, like, you know, no pun intended, uh, not just like our regular rares. Uh, that's an interesting decision. So I guess everything in this set won't be full holographic. It says arriving October 9th, 2020. So again, just about four months from now. It says maximum gold MSRP $29.99, which is pretty much standard for gold series at this point. They've had that price since forever. It says featured un or features unparalleled beauty and style with new uh, premium gold rares, uh, the ultimate evolution. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We're just basically going back and repeating what we just said before. Each set is or each pack is going to be seven cards, two premium gold rares, and five gold lettered rares. We'll see. The thing is... Okay, so are the are the are the gold rares the the gold letter rares are they holographic or not? Because based on this that I'm reading the, the press release, it kind of seems like they're not going to be holographic. It doesn't really say anything about them being holographic. You would just assume that these premium gold rares are going to be holographic. So this would be interesting. That would feel that would feel a little kind of like a waste though. Maybe they are holographic, but if they are, how 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 are the how's that any different from? the premium gold rare, uh, you know, the, the gold letter rare. So I guess we'll just ultimately have to see. I mean, I'm not complaining about this. If they give us some dynamite ass reprints and they just happen to be the gold letter rares, I still think that that'll be perfectly fine. Even if they aren't holographic, I think a lot of players will still take them. But honestly, this has me very excited. I just, I cannot believe that they're giving us like alternate artworks of cards like Appaloosa. I mean, this is like a super high end card. Forget about just reprinting it. We're getting an alternate artwork and you're picking iconic cards like stratos 
which I think is going to be absolutely phenomenal as well. What would you guys like to see in this, uh, you know, gold series? I thought Appaloosa was maybe going to be in the Megatons. I thought that, that she could possibly end up in, you know, Battles of Legends, but it looks like they wanted to give us her in a super spicy way. I mean, I think, what's it called? I think maybe, um... Borolode Savage Dragon. That would be another card to put in here. That would be kind of cool. Maybe an alternate artwork of that. Anyways, whatever you guys want to see in uh, Maximum Gold, you leave that in the comment section below. And uh, what do you think of these new alternate artworks and anything that you saw in the press release? Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not, uh, subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell for daily videos.